I'm Ivan Reitman, director of Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2, better known as Dad. <laughs> and I'm his son, Jason Reitman, director of Ghostbusters Afterlife. The Ghostbusters 84 set is the first set I can remember. As a kid, it was just simply magical. He was there with his mom, my wife, and uh, they, in fact, they actually used it in this in one moment in the film when there's We got cut out of the original Ghostbusters. That's what he's getting at. <laughs> they got scared after the first take. Jason wouldn't do a second take. I... <laughs> Ghostbusters Afterlife is a movie about a family that's being made by a family. And it is much about the passing of Torch, metaphorically, and the passing of a proton pack. It was very emotional to see that uh, story living again after so many years uh, through my son. I grew up as a fan. I had a flight suit, I had the t-shirt, I had the hat. Now at this age, I find myself trying to understand who my father is and who he was when he made this film. You know, I am now the age that my father was when he made the original Ghostbusters movie. And I'm trying to understand him in the same way that Phoebe and Callie are trying to understand where they came from. While making the movie, my father's presence was felt most like this, inches away, watching the monitor, imagine yourself in your workplace and your parents are sitting right next to you, watching you take every phone call, watching you present any idea, chiming in often. It was probably more fun for me than for Jason. <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment when we were shooting with three cameras, a scene with five or six actors and I found myself on set, sitting next to one of the cameras, watching one actor in particular who I wanted a performance from. And after the take was done, I ran back to monitor to review the other cameras, and my father looked at me and just said, you got it. I went, okay. And I nodded and we moved on, which is not an experience I could have ever happened or probably <laughs> will ever happen on any other movie. Jason had a remarkable responsibility having to deal with his father on the set, and also the history and iconography of 35 years of audiences all over the world getting to know this movie. And he took it on, which I thought was a brave thing to do. My father and I are extraordinarily close. It was a joyful experience just to be there. It was the great bonding experience of my life with the director that I admire most, my father. Phone's probably mine. Dad, I'm in the me like I I'm trying to do the EP. <sighs> Back to one, guys. Oh, yeah,